The flu is a serious and unpredictable disease, and understanding the importance of getting an annual vaccination is vitally important. And joining me to talk about more is Medical Affairs Lead with the Influenza Vaccines, Dr. Luis Romano, along with Cerise Murata, Chief Operating Officer of Families Flighting, Fighting Flu. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. So, Dr. Luis, tell us, what is the flu? So, influenza or the flu is a contagious respiratory disease that can spread quite easily through respiratory secretions. So that's by coughing, sneezing, or just by being in close contact with an infected person. Okay, and what are the signs and symptoms that we should be looking for? So the classic symptoms are high fever, aching muscles, sore throat, dry cough, runny or stuffy nose, headache, and in young children, they can also present with vomiting or diarrhea. Okay, so, I mean, you kind of mentioned it there. Let's talk about who can be impacted by the flu. Yes, so let me be very clear. Anyone can be impacted by the flu. Actually, CDC estimated that this past flu season, 80,000 people lost their lives due to flu-related complications. So even if there are some groups that are at higher risk for flu-related complications, everyone might be impacted by the flu. And that is why it's so important that everyone who's six months and older should get the flu vaccine each and every year. Okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is it effective? Because, you know, people always wonder if it's effective or not. What do you think? So the flu vaccine effectiveness, it's not perfect, but we know that each year the flu vaccine prevents millions of hospitalizations, uh, millions of cases, and it also, it also prevents deaths. So for example, last flu season, 180 uh, kids, pediatric patients, lost their lives due to the flu. It's estimated that 80% of these kids were not vaccinated. So it's very important to understand that the true value of flu vaccination, it's uh, just not about preventing the infection, it's about preventing these severe consequences of the, of the flu infection. Okay, I mean, I know that a lot of our viewers, a lot of our audience, they're, they're mothers, and um, I mean, I'm a mother myself, so is that the best way to protect ourselves and our families from getting the flu? Yes, it is the single best way to prevent, to help prevent, prevent this infection. Other things that are also very important is to wash your hands frequently, to cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing, and if someone is sick, uh, to try to keep them at home so they don't spread the infection in the community. Cerise, tell us a little bit about what you do. So I am the Chief Operating Officer of a national nonprofit organization called Families Fighting Flu. And I came to this organization because I lost my healthy five-year-old son to influenza in 2009. So I'm a parent who understands that the dangers of flu are real, it can happen, and you know we as parents um, can do something about it. We can help protect ourselves and our families by getting vaccinated each and every year. Thank you so much for, for sharing your story. If somebody wants to find more information, where can we go? To find out more information about the organization, you can go to www.familiesfightingflu.org. Thank you. Yes, and to find information about the flu and the flu vaccines, you can also go to flu.gsk.com.